Hi, hello, welcome to my channel Ashri's Biology. In this video, I am going to explain life cycle of frog. Life cycle of frog involves two stages. First one is pre-embryonic stage, second one is post-embryonic stage. Pre-embryonic stage is again have three stages, fertilization, cleavage and neurulation. And post-embryonic stage has metamorphosis. First, fertilization. Frog usually have external fertilization. External fertilization in the sense the fertilization occurs outside the body where male releases sperms and female releases ovum into the water and the fertilization occur in the water other than body. Though uh, that type of fertilization is called as external fertilization and frog egg is having highly density with yolk and it shows polarity. Polarity in the sense it shows it has two poles animal pole and vegetal pole animal pole is present at the upper side and vegetal pole is present at the lower side so also it has polarity and um, normally the sperm egg the sperm uh, enters the egg at the animal hemisphere and the point of sperm entry is also important to determine the torso ventral polarity the point of sperm entry makes ventral side of the embryo the site uh, 180 degrees opposite to the point of sperm entry makes the dorsal side uh, and it has internal cytoplasm which is grey in color and it is present opposite to the sperm entry this is all about fertilization and the next one is the next step is is cleavage cleavage uh, what is cleavage cleavage is the division of a fertilized egg that is called as cleavage the frog egg shows radially symmetrical and holoblastic cleavage radially symmetrical in the sense organisms can be divided equally at the central plane at the central plane the organism is divided into equal parts that is radial symmetrical and it shows holoblastic cleavage holoblastic cleavage in the sense the ear is nothing but total cleavage results in a two equal parts that cleavage is called as holoblastic which means it divides totally and it makes it one cell into two cells that cleavage is called as holoblastic cleavage mm, and the first division is starts from the animal hemisphere and the furrow starts from anim animal hemisphere and you know it moves to the vegetal hemisphere that is first cleavage and the yolk um, in frog egg the more amount of yolk is deposited at the vegetal region and the second is the second cleavage is uh, started at the time of first right angle to the first cleavage that shows meridional cleavage meridional cleavage is nothing but the cleavage starts from at the center of the egg that cleavage is called as meridional cleavage and the third is equatorial equatorial means the cleavage starts at the equator but in frog egg more amount of yolk is deposited in the vegetal pole so the uh, equatorial cleavage is not uh, done at the equator it is done little above the uh, equator towards the animal pole so it uh, it forms the um, small cells in the animal pole and large cells in the um, vegetal pole and it shows uh, small cells are called as micromeres which are present at animal pole and my uh, macromeres which are Pres uh, present at vegetal pole this is about late cleavage and the next one is uh, 16 to 64 cells are commonly called as morula which means totally the cell is totally covered with uh, micromeres and macromeres and the next is blastula blastula means the uh, celoblastula blastocil uh, which is present at the um, embryo uh, blastocil which is present at the embryo so uh, frog uh, fr frog blastula is called as celoblastula and it is little excess eccentric 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 in the sense it is not present at the center it is present towards the animal uh, animal pole hmm. And it is celoblastula. The general, in general, animal pole cell gives rise to ectoderm. Vegetal pole cell gives rise to ectoderm. The cells beneath the blastocil gives rise to mesoderm. Okay. The cell opposite to the sperm entry gives rise to neural ectoderm, notochord, mesoderm. Okay. Uh, in normally. 
the animal cells. Animal pole cell gives rise to ectoderm. Vestral cell pole cells gives rise to endoderm. Beneath the blastocell gives rise to mesoderm. And the next stage is gastrula. Gastrula is gastrulation is the transformation of single layer blastula into three layer gastrula. Single layer blastula is transformed into three layer gastrula. That process is called as gastrulation. During gastrulation, blastro blastro blastromeres blastromeres is nothing but the fragments the uh, the cells which are present in blastula. Those cells are called as blastromeres. During gastrulation, blastomeres move from one place to another layer, uh, another place to form a definite germ layers. That moment is called as morphological moment. Surface layer of okay. surface layer of gastrula is composed of ectoderm. Surface layer in the sense the upper layer. The space within the gastrula is archenteron. A roof of the archenteron is composed of micro, macromeres forming endoderm. The roof of the archenteron is made up of endo, um, macromeres that forms endoderm. Space within the gastrulation is called as ectoderm. Uh, in between ectoderm and endoderm, there is, a sp uh, there is an another layer called as mesoderm, which, uh, which formed from the blastopore lip. Okay, ectoderm is formed from um, animal uh, vestal pole and endoderm is formed from vestal pole and ectoderm is formed from uh, endoderm and mesoderm is formed from blastopore lip in gastrulation. Uh, the middle part is called as archenteron. What is gastrulation? The transformation of single layer blastula into three layers gastrula. That process is called as gastrulation. And the next one is neurulation. Neurulation refers to folding process, which include transformation of neural plate into neural tube. Uh, neural neural plate. The embryo at this stage is called as neurula. Uh, neural uh, notochord induces notochord uh, starts production uh, production uh, formation of central nervous system. Notochord starts production formation of central nervous system by sending signals from ectoderm germ layers and forms the neural plate. The notochord starts central nervous system. It sends uh, ectoderms. Ectoderms is formed from this animal pole. Uh, ectoderm sends a signal from you know, to germ layer that forms neural plate. Neural plate folds upon itself to form neural tube that neural tube is uh, developed into spinal cord and brain and the next stage is a tail bud stage uh, during neurogenesis notogenesis mesogenesis neurogenesis means formation of a noto uh, noto um, brain and notochord means formation of notochord mm -hmm. Uh, during this process, embryo elongates anterior posteriorly. It uh, elongates, which means it uh, its size becomes elongated and compressed laterally. The sides of the embryo becomes flattened and it elongates anteriorly and posteriorly. The part of embryo lies in the dorsal side of the blastopore, uh, becomes uh, elongated at the po posteriorly. The posteriorly. Uh, at the blastopore lip, the development starts towards the posteriorly, and that development of towards the posteriorly is called as a tail bud. The tail bud is differentiated into tail. Okay, the from the blastopore, the uh, posteriorly it develops, and that development is called as tail bud, and tail bud is differentiated into tail. And uh, this is about new relation. And here comes the post embryonic development. Post embryonic development mainly causes um, involves metamorphosis. Here um, we can see tadpole, free swimming tadpole is formed where prominent eyes, internal gills, external gills, and tail formation is seen uh, up to this. This is called as free swimming larva. Uh, free swimming larva is developed uh, is developed into frog with the process of metamorphosis. 
uh, I already done a video uh, on metamorphic events in frog. I'll give the uh, I'll I'll give that link on my description box. If you want to check that um, video, go for it. Uh, and um, after metamorphosis, the tadpole is developed into fertilized um, adult one. This is about the life cycle of frog. Okay, thank you all and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel Ashri's Biology and if you like the video please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.